Hey everybody, Chris McGinnis here, also known as Drama Guy CJM. And now that you're here, I want to show you something. Hold on one second. See this? This is a very, very pink shirt. I'm saying flamingos look at this thing and they think, damn, I wish I looked that pink. Alright, now you may be wondering, Chris, why are you showing me a pink shirt? And then you're wondering to yourself, why do you own a pink polo shirt? Well, there's a story behind it, and I'll try to keep it brief. Junior year of college, the university players, uh, the theater uh, group at the University of Scranton, an organization that I'm very proud to call myself a part of, uh, held a party one weekend, and the theme of the party was Think Pink to Drink. Uh, the gimmick being, you know, if you come to the party, or something pink. Now, um, admittedly, I'm not much of a drinker, but I thought, you know, well, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna enjoy myself. And I really didn't have anything pink in my wardrobe. I mean, I had this t-shirt from uh, the Broadway musical Avenue Q, and it had the uh, top half of one of the character's heads in the corner, and this character had pink hair. So I thought, well, I'll wear that in case anyone tried to call me on. I'd say, mm, nope, look, right there, pink hair. See, it counts. But then as uh, it got closer to the party, I thought, you know what? I'm not going to go into this half-heartedly. I'm going to go hard or stay home. So I headed down to the Steamtown Mall to try and find something to, you know, that would suit me and uh, fit the theme, and that's when I came upon this vivid monstrosity here. I mean, your eyes just can't help but be drawn to it. It's like an evil magnet of pinkness. So I bought the shirts, wore it to the party that night, got a lot of comments about it, a lot of compliments, and you know, I, I simply told people, you know, I thought, if I'm going to do this, I'm going to do it right. So after that party, it uh, went into my closet for uh, quite a while, and it was either See that following summer or the summer after, I can't quite recall off the top of my head, but I had uh, been part of a, a group uh, called the uh, World Tavern Poker Tour, which was basically a free Texas hold'em that was played in uh, you know, bars and taverns around the area in New York here. And uh, one of the places I played at, uh, the Hop at San Carlos, uh, one week they said they were going to have a theme night, uh, Ugly Poker Shirt Night. And I thought, well, it's not really an ugly shirt, but it's um, not exactly what you would think would be a traditional poker game uh, shirt, so I wore it that night and, you know, got, you know, got, you know, some comments, some reactions, uh, didn't win a prize for ugliest shirt or anything like that, but then again, in the long run, do you really want to win a prize for ugliest anything, despite the theme and the gimmick? So, anyway, after that, it went into my shirt for, uh, several more years, uh, up until this day, and I thought to myself last week, you know, I think maybe it's time for the shirt to make a comeback. But, you know, not an everyday sort of shirt comeback. I mean, it would have to be for, you know, like a rare special occasion. So I thought, where would be the least likely place that you'd see someone wearing a pink t-shirt? And then it hit me. A pro wrestling event. I mean, unless Bret Hart was involved somehow. But, uh, you know, unless uh, Lightning Mike Quackenbush and uh, the powers that be at Chicago Pro have some huge surprise uh, in the summertime in store for us involving the Hitman, I don't think uh, that's going to happen anytime soon. So, that's where uh, this comes in. Chikara's Young Lions Cup tournament this August in Reading, Pennsylvania. I'm considering wearing this shirt all three nights that weekend. Now, I say considering because I'm not doing this, you know, of my own own volition. If I'm going to make myself, you know, look, you know, kind of foolish and ridiculous for the entertainment of others, you got to help me out a little bit, and that's where you come in. Now, I recently added to the blog page of uh, my companion blog to the podcast Thought Out of Context, which you can find at uh, dramaguyscjm.blogspot.com, and uh, there'll be a link in the video description, and I'll probably put one in the annotations, maybe uh, here, maybe over there, 
perhaps right below uh, my nose here. Either way, uh, a link will pop up. Uh, recently on the page, I added the Thoughts Out of Context tip jar. And uh, that's basically a, a PayPal donate button where, you know, if people, you know, wanted to support the, uh, the blog, the podcast, the video blogs, you know, whatever, they, you know, they can make a little contribution and all contributions would be going towards improving the product, perhaps, you know, with uh, new microphones, uh, new camera, maybe a uh, new web hosting space, maybe upgrading uh, my account on my current host at Podomatic. Either, yeah, either way, any and all donations made to uh, the tip jar will help improve my media output for you, the fantastic fans. Now, as I said, this is where you come in. I'm considering wearing the shirt to all three nights of Young Lions Cup, but it'll depend on yeah, how much you know I raise in. I haven't thought of a good name for it yet, so for the moment I'm calling it the Thoughts Out of Context Return of the Pink Shirt at Shakari's Young Lions Cup Donation Drive. Like I said, kind of long, doesn't really roll off the tongue, but uh, I'm working on that. So anyway, here's what I'm thinking. It's uh, May 21st right now as I'm recording this. Young Lions Cup is the end of August. I'm thinking from now until August 15th, that's when the drive will go. Feel free to donate whatever you want, however much you want, however often you want. Spread the word. Here's one thing about the goal thresholds. If I raise at least $100, I will wear this shirt to at least one night of the Young Lions Cup tournament. Not sure which night it will be, but it will be there for at least one night. Up to at least $200, Two nights. If I can raise at least three hundred, I'll wear it all three nights that weekend. And don't worry, I will wash it in between wearings. I want it to be, you know, nice and clean and laundry fresh because I'm gonna be, you know, I'm gonna be in public. I'm gonna be around people. I mean, and besides, you know, who goes out wearing a shirt in public three days in a row without washing the shirt? I mean, honestly, that's not sanitary. That's not cool. So yeah, there you. As I said, you know, uh, if you can get at least three hundred dollars, I'll wear it all three nights. Uh, if I you know go above you know that threshold. You know, depending on ha how much, I'll do you know maybe more different things with it. Perhaps one night I'll wear it. Uh, you know, with the collar pops. Look foolish like that, maybe. Uh, and one night I'll uh, find one of those uh, puka shell necklaces and spike my hair up and uh, look like an uh, enormous tool, and uh, that'll be uh, entertaining for you. Maybe I'll do something even more degrading, like I'm, um, uh... Ugh, buy a BDK t-shirt. I feel dirty just thinking about that. Ugh. Anyway, we'll worry about that when we come to it. And, like I said, trust me, if this, you know, if this, you know, pans out and I do end up wearing the shirt, trust me, there will be plenty of proof that it happened. There'll be many pictures, maybe some videos, but trust me, you will see me clad in this ridiculous garment, surrounded by pro wrestling fans, pro wrestlers. It'll be fantastic. And like I said, any and all contributions to this drive will be used to improve my media output for you, the fans who have supported me. Uh, a little over a year now, actually. Hard to believe it's been about a year since I started podcasting. So I thank you for all your support since then, and I hope I can look forward to your continued support. So if you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact me. You know, email drawmyguystgm at verizon.net. Send me a message on Facebook, Twitter, however you can get a hold of me. And uh, you know, let's uh, let's see what we can do here. Just remember, if you want to see me in in the pink, you have to show me the green. Okay, that's not a very good catchphrase, but like I said, I'm, I'm working on it. So anyway, uh, thank you very much in advance, and I will talk to you all later.